Morning world to be clear. Typical fucking Victoria. Glorious one day. Overcast, cloudy, and rain on the way to the next. So, roll the intro. Right, our world. Off in the sail. Right, our world's off the sail this morning. Uh, I'm going to go to J-Car. See if I can get a shorter lead, because this one's like three metres long. And I'm um, going to go post up through a couple of things. Then, uh, I'm gonna go around. then I'm going around to work on my friend's bike. Um, lifelong school friend of my sister Julie's. She's uh, got a couple of bikes and they haven't been running for a while, so I'm going around to do a bit of work on them. And we might have to name and show a, uh, a motorcycle mechanic here in Sale. Not Sale motorcycle, same as not them. Someone else say just done her a bloody day. Just that arrogant pig just ripped her off. Let's go. This is a part of Victoria I just never got used to and can never really handle. It was like, you know, you get one really good day. Sandy was a good day. I'd
big, but it didn't really like it. it didn't really suit her actually. It was just, you know, <coughs> new rider. The only day I remember back in the day when I uh, was teaching Shelby how to ride, we got her that uh, little ninja. Great learner bike. I don't think the Viragos and the uh, V-Stars and that there, for a female beginner rider, middle age, late age, they're not very suitable. And then one of her friends was selling a, uh, I don't know what year it is, a 20 something ZZR. Very similar to Kermy. Shelby's little green uh, ninja. So I've been sitting for a while. Took it in this bike shop here at sale. And he just fucking ripped right. And the car was clean. He said, I'll be a couple of weeks. You know, three, four weeks later, she's after an update. Where's my bike? And he's sort of like, I'm going off. And then she goes to the shop. And there's her bike just scattered all over the shop. A couple of weeks later, she's ringing an old. You know, and he's going, oh yeah, your bike will be ready next week. So a couple of weeks later, she's up. No, no bike. Fucking ready. She goes back into the shop. And he's pulled the rear shocker out, told her it was fucked. And he got so up his ass, he's waving a fucking shocker at him. Town's a high quality A and E nurse, so you know, it's gonna fucking scare her one bit. And then she rang again and guy, this guy starts telling that he's fucking harassing her and I never stole your bike. She's hanging on a minute. No one said anything about stealing a fucking bike, mate. I just want my bike back on the road. So she ended up uh, taking a bit of a big, beefy, burly bloke. They did get the bike back. I went and had a look at it yesterday. Took it for a run. Uh, run's good. But, uh, she got the bike back. It had over half a tank, three quarters of a tank of fuel in it. She got the bike back. She was riding home. Fucking around the fuel. It drained the fuel tank. She never put any fuel back in. And I went around there yesterday. The shocky put in was not a new shocky. Um, and it bounces all over like a kangaroo, but. I think that's maybe just the um, preload setting, which I'm going to have to go and look at tomorrow. Now, I went to have a look at the V-Star, and the battery's dead flat. So, I showed how to put it on charge and blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going around there later today. Uh, we'll take it off the charger, see if it starts, get it running, and if the battery's crook, um, we'll, get her a, we'll go and get her a new battery. And I'll teach her and show her exactly how to put a battery in her own bike. She's very clever, she's very switched on, she's got no problem with learning, so... Anyway, I'm at the post office, I've got to go and buy something here, should have get neutral. So, alright, so we're at the post office, got to get something here, then it's up to the go car, try and get another lead. Um, and then, yeah, then we'll um, head around to Sharon and get stuck into her bikes. What a shitty looking day. Done. So I've got this neck gator on that uh, uh, a lady friend up in um, Biggin, who's really nice and I really like. And she said, I'll take this on the trip. Um, I hope it's alright, it's been sitting in my knickers drawer for the last year or so. So basically, nearly all the way down from Queensland to Victoria, from Queensland to Victoria I've been sniffing Steffi's knickers. Alright, let's go around. Now this bloody lead is three metres, I could cut and join it. I don't like cut and join leads, but like audio leads, but I guess again though if I really have to I have to. But um I've got one on the other side and oh yeah. I, uh, I stretched it and broke it. And uh, I could not find a uh, one metre male to female, two o-ring um, Simpson lead for uh, my GoPros and my mic, so I so this time, uh, uh, so this time, um, this j has got one, downtown sale.
this is no pain, but I'm a bike. Not quite the same as a uh, road close sign, but almost. All right, I'll be back. Another job off the list this morning. Let's get up to Jacob. Uh, hopefully they're all leave for me. And then we'll go around, play with some motorbikes. So I've got a feeling the uh, V-Star battery's been dead for about a year. So I think it's gonna need another battery. I showed her where the battery was because oh my god, I didn't even know it was in there. So, uh, anyway, she's creeps around. I showed her how to pull the side cover off and put it back on. And... So, I will show her how to uh, remove and install her own battery. Uh, let's just hope that this old city cycles uh, or motor motorcycle shop actually carries her battery for a V Star. Sharon's by going to take the uh, V Star for a run. Oh, come on, you old cunt. And um, get back to where I'm staying before the bloody rain sets in. I'm probably fucking stuck here for half an hour waiting to get served. Right here, Wells. Fucking round for leads. I bought a lead, it was 13 bucks. I thought it worked, and then it didn't. Turn the other camera on, not this one, so I don't think it worked. Street sign is there's a house in there and the chimney's ever got twisted. 
question. Very unique. I remember that when I was like five years old, so they've been there a lot of years. There's the V-Star right there. Right here, touch down. Let's get to work. Right, I'll catch you on the way out, or I may or may not be filming um, set of Sharon Fields. I may film what we're doing, maybe not so. If not, catch you on the way out. Otherwise, um, there'll be some bike footage. So, right here, catch you later, Worlds. Right here, Worlds. Uh, Sharon's got the battery out of a V-Star. We're off the South, South City Motorcycles. And I uh, see they've actually got a battery. All right, I'll meet you on the road. Right, get That is the first time I've taken Sharon for a ride. There we go. Alright, let's go. Right out, let's go. That's that crazy chick over there that was um, doing the nutcase thing in the main street. Bitch to find neutral on this bike. Harleys are always like that. Right our wells, we'll go and see if we can get a battery for the beast stable. We'll yep. Catch her on the way out. Right our wells, so I was telling you about Shannon on the bike and uh, how she kind of got ripped off. And uh, I'm just going to stand here. If you're ever in sale, do not go to this motorbike shop. He absolutely screwed her over. Waving shockers around, completely fucking abusing her, and basically handed back her bike somewhat fucked. So, and took, I think, a total of three months to get her bike back. So, if you're ever in sale, do not come to that motorbike shop. Uh, just don't do it. I walked out the back, and it was a wreck of bikes everywhere, and he was mean and grumpy to me as well. So, yeah. So if you're in sale, so we've just picked up the battery for Sharon's bike, 80 bucks, brand new, had it on the shelf. If you're ever in sale, this is where you come. Sale motorbike, sale motorcycles, can't say it. So sale motorcycles right there. This is the shop you want to come to because they'll take really, really good care of you. Righto, catch you later on the road. Bye. Righto, Wells. Um, yeah, having a little spat. Like I said, do not go to that bike shop here in sale, uh, that one. So our motorcycles definitely, but the other one do not go. Anyway, we're going to head down to Super Cheap now and uh, grab a can of uh, spray cleaner. I can definitely feel moisture coming. There's rain in the air, absolutely. Right. All aboard. The Hippie Road Show. Okay. Oh, shit, I got you. Now, are we in neutral first?
so you can put the battery on our bike and I'll take it for a run, make sure it's all good and I want to, um, we're going to get some brake cleaner a little bit of oil underneath the ZZR so I don't know whether that's just chain lube or um, well, it looks like oil she says she's never had an oil leak before so and I'll take that for another ride as well Yeah. It's gonna rain. Yeah. Trying to. It gets easier with practice. <laughs> oh, you, you're still stuck, are you? Uh, Hang yeah. on, I'll get out of your way. There you go, try that. That's better, I can get some forward motion. There we go. All right, I'll catch you when you come out. Yep. Some chained greaser. Uh, no, no, um, brake cleaner. Brake cleaner. And you only need, they'll probably give you a can about this big, I don't, yeah, yeah. It, it, but it has to be brake cleaner, not throttle cleaner, just brake cleaner. No worries, mate. All right, see you when you come out. Right now, Wells, we'll... Right now, Wells, we'll catch you when we're back on the run back to Sharon's place. Right now, brake cleaner's got, head back, Sharon's going to put the battery in her bike, and we'll start and run it. I'll clean the ZZ, take that for a bit of a run as well, and uh, try and work out exactly where that fucking oil leak's coming from. Safely back in the driveway. Let's get the batteries in the bikes. All right, we'll catch you later. All right. See you next time I'm in sale, I guess. Yes. I don't know even when. Or what, like I was saying, you know, I have to do this trip. I might not be fit enough to even do this trip next year. Well, That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. 
enjoy your bikes and I hope you get your license real soon. Alright, see you mate.
myself on where I have to be. Everything went really well. What a good day at the office. Bit of a chilly ride home, but we're safe and we can push down rain all it likes now for the next day, so if it has to, because I don't really have to go anywhere on the bike. So, right out well. So, Sharon, thanks very much. You uh, naughty girl giving me that. You should not have given me that, but uh, I'll take it. So, thank you very, very much. And um, to everyone else, stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I will catch you later. Bye.